Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Okay, today we're going to do a tutorial on the attributes chart in which we're going to focus on the P chart. Okay, from this question, it's about a tire manufacturer in which they have uh, 10 samples and each sample they have 20. Okay, so the N in which the sample size is 20. And then we need to calculate the UCL, CL, and LCL. And then we need to develop a control chart using three standard deviation. And then whether to conclude is the process is in control. And then what happened when we have another four samples to be included, okay, into the P chart. And what are the conclusions that we can make after that. Okay, first thing. So... Okay, so we need to do the fraction defective. What is fraction defective? Okay, the, the first info we have that n, which is the sample size, equal to 20. And then for the fraction defective, the formula is the number of defective for each sample. We need to divide by n, in which this case is 20. So this one is 1 over 20, 3 over 20, 2 over 20, and so on. Okay, we need to do for all the 10 samples. So these are the answer. Okay, next, what information that we have? We need to calculate the pre-bar. Pre-bar formula is the total number of defective. So in this case, the total number of defective is 18. Okay, and then divide by the total number of observation in which we have 10 samples and each sample we have 20. So we have 200 observation that have been done for the all 10 samples. So for P bar, 18 divided by 200, we get 0 0.09. Okay, next, we need to calculate the sigma P. For the sigma P, the formula is given here and we have P bar, so and our n is 20, so P sigma, we have 0.06. Next step is, we need to develop a control chart using three standard deviation. For this case, Z is 3. And these are the formula for the UCL and LCL. P bar plus minus Z times the sigma P. So we plug in into the formula. Okay, so we have for the upper control limit is 0 0.27 and for the lower control limit, we have negative 0 0.09. In this case, we cannot have a negative uh, chart in the chart, so we need to set it to 0. Next, we need to develop the control chart. So we need information of the upper, lower and also the central limit here. Okay. So when we plot the P chart, the x or the y axis is the fraction defective. Okay. And then we have the upper control limit that we have calculated, 0 0.27, the central control limit in which is the P bar, 0 0.09, and the lower control limit is 0. And these are the fraction defective that we have that we have already calculated in the table. Okay, so <clears throat> for this graph, what we can say that the process is in control since none of the fraction defective go above or, or <clears throat> going out from the upper control limit. Okay, so it's processing in control. Okay, next, what if they added another four samples? And here are the data. And remember, we done until 10, and then we add another four sample so the information that we have here we need to do the fraction defective for the uh, four samples and then we need to recalculate okay you need to recalculate the p bar because the number of defective have been changed <coughs> to 34 and then the total number of observation also have been changed to 14 times 20 and you will get 0.12 and then since P bar have changed, so does the sigma P. So the new sigma P is 0 0.07. So the UCL and LCL4 definitely going to change because P bar and the sigma change. So the new UCL is 0 0.33. And again, 
we get negative for LCL, so we need to change to set it to zero. Okay, so we have three information that we need for our uh, control chart. So again, uh, this is a depression effective, and then the upper control limit have changed to 0 0.33, the P bar have changed to 0 0.2, and the LCL go to zero. So we plot the depression defective, and we found out that the process is still in control because it does not exceed the UCL. Okay, so for every time when we add more samples, we need to recalculate again. We need to recalculate the P bar, we need to calculate the sigma P, UCL, LCL, and we need to plot again to see whether when we add more data, does it uh, go beyond the UCL. Okay. So that's all for P-chart. I hope you understand and we'll see you again. All right. Thank you.